On today's episode, we're making a garlic butter cream sauce. Uh, and by the way, this could go on anything, really almost anything. Uh, we will be putting it on a piece of fish. Yes. Because that's what I want to do. Start right here. To a small pan, add a little oil. And then a couple tablespoons of diced red onion. You could use shallot if you want. Though I do find shallot a bit of a pain in the ass because they're small. And garlic. These two things we just want to sweat, soften, become fragrant. Should take about three, four minutes. While we're waiting for that, let's use this as an opportunity to do something. We'll get our fish ready, little piece of salmon. A little oil on both sides, and both sides, salt and pepper. It's ready. Okay, that is starting to smell really good. Important next step, uh, I'm using vermouth. You could use white wine, half a cup, in it goes. And just let it start to bubble away and let it reduce by about, I don't know, 30%. All right, two tablespoons of cold butter. Melt beautifully in here. go and about a quarter of a cup of cream heavy cream let that bubble for a bit it's gonna do its thing a little and now we're gonna start our fish the pan is hot it's my way of testing I don't condone that behavior don't do that it's not smart Never burnt myself, but it's not smart. Fish goes in, face down. The side you're gonna serve facing up is the side that goes into a pan first. That's because it gets the cleanest cook. The pan doesn't have bits stuck to it. It's just nice and perfect. The really nice thing about cooking salmon this way is that you're gonna be able to see the color change up the side. We come back to our sauce. The bubbling is gonna reduce it a bit gonna thicken a little bit. We've got two other things to add. And if you look right here, let me flip it around to this side will be better. See? Cooking, 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 looking beautiful. We want to cook it about uh, a third of the way, then flip it to the other side and it will help us keep the inside about a perfect medium rare. We're gonna add juice of one lemon, juice of one lemon. and a, uh, a nice big tablespoon of chopped dill. I'll just let that continue along. We're gonna season it in a second. Here's our salmon ready to flip. Look at that beautiful, here. That side got covered. That's it, right there. We'll do the same thing on that side. It'll be pretty. Garlic, dill, lemon juice, butter. No bad here, no bad here at all. Okay, so the fish is ready. We'll just take it out and let it rest for a sec. And now our sauce needs a couple things. It needs salt and pepper. And then we mix. And we taste, the heat's enough now. And we'll just taste for seasonings. I would be wrong just to do this. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't do that. All right, let's put this together. Our fish first. How pretty is that? And now some sauce. And this is not meant to be a thick sauce. It's just meant to be a beautiful sauce. And then just a tiny bit more dough. There we go. 
Let's go. Right here, this little end. Little sauce. Delicate. Little hint of garlic. Some lovely dill notes coming through. Little red onion in there. Mm. Wow, this is good. <laughs> Pardon all that nonsense. It's just damn good. And one more bite. And you see, look, can you see it's not, you see the color? Mm hmm. That's beautiful, moist salmon. It is not dry, it is not overcooked. Little crisp. That's the way to cook the salmon. And by the way, it was a room temperature piece of salmon when I started. I love salmon. I love cooking it like this. I don't like it dried out. That little sauce is genius. You could put it on any kind of fish. It would be nice on a little, little piece of chicken or something like that. Who knows? Possibilities are endless and certainly up to you. Hey, eat better. That's the point of this. We want you eating better, not going out all the time. Enough fast food. Okay, go every so often, but make more stuff at home. Thanks for hanging out. Tell your friends about us. Subscribe to whatever you can. Follow me on Instagram and all the other social media stuff. See you.